In this session, we will look at the stowage planning problem about the route where the loading and unloading operations are restricted due to the size of gantry crane. First of all, look at the ship schedule for the selected route. It shows that this route transports cargoes from LA and Oakland in the east to Tokyo, Qingdao, Shanghai, and Nimbo in Asia. Looking at the port information of the Tokyo and Shanghai that is the first and third port of call in Asia, it can be seen there are restrictions on gantry cranes operation. In the case of Tokyo, the gantry cranes can load containers up to 6 tiers high and can reach as to 14 rows. And the gantry crane of the Shanghai can load up to 7 tiers high. Next, move on the booking information below. The first port, LA has 5,994 TEUs, and Oakland has 2052 TEUs of cargo booking. The total, 7,912 TEUs is close to 94% of the ship's capacity. In case of the special cargo shipment, a total of 15 boxes of DG, 57 boxes of Ripper, and 6 boxes of OG cargo will be loaded. And there are optional cargoes of total 20 to 42 TEUs that has not been assigned the POD of which 1,794 TEUs occurs at LA and 448 TEUs occurs at Oakland. That's about 28% of the total loading amount 7,912 TEUs. And these optional cargoes are all empty containers, and most of them are shipped at LA, the first port. When planning the LA stowage, the slot locations of the loaded containers of the next port, Oakland, should fully be considered and planned. To summarize the features of the stowage planning on this route. First, more than 75% of all cargoes are loaded at LA. Second, the stowage factor of Oakland is 94% reaching almost full loaded status. And lastly, due to the restriction of the gantry crane at the discharging ports, 100% of the total ship space cannot be utilized. Due to these operational characteristics of the route, the stowage planning is complicated especially the stowage planning of the first port, LA is the most important process since it determined the stowage productivity of the entire route. With the default setting of all options, we will run the engine in succession for LA and Oakland, and will confirm that the optimization engine performs well, and whether all cargoes can be loaded and ship stability are satisfied.
LA and Oakland stowage plans have been optimized. Looking at the final stowage plan of the Oakland. In the case of Tokyo Cargo, it is loaded in less than 6 tier. And you can see that it has not been loaded beyond the 16th row from the starboard which the gantry crane of Shanghai can reaches. In addition, all cargoes unloading at Shanghai are loaded in 7th tier or less. The following table summarizes the LA and Oakland engine results. According to LA's plan, all cargo was assigned to slot locations without rehandling. However, in the case of Oakland, there were five boxes of containers failed to assign slot locations and two boxes of containers were raised stowed. The results for the rest of the evaluation factors have been indicated mostly satisfactory levels. The GM is 3.5 and 1.6 meters each, trim is 0.3 meters in both ports, and healing is 0.26 and 0.16 degrees each. Also, the stability indicators such as shear force, bending moment and torsion moment have been satisfied within an appropriate range. The stevedore workload of each gang has been found to be well distributed and the requirement for the ship's visibility well achieved. So far, we have seen that the Red Stow program relatively well performed the optimization processes and produced the stowage plan under circumstances where the ship's capacity cannot be fully used due to the gantry crane's operational restrictions at the port. Although we couldn't find slot locations for five boxes of containers using the default settings, we were able to confirm that it produced relatively good stowage results. In addition, if the optimization options were selected appropriately, it is expected that better results could have been obtained. That's all for this session. Thank you for watching.